Hakuna kinachokutayarisha kwa utakayoyaona iwapo utafunga safari ya kuwaona wanyama hawa wanaohifadhiwa Olpejeta. Sokwe watu. Licha ya wanyama hawa kufanana na wanadamu kimaumbile vile vile kabisa huwa na hulka mbali mbali zinazosaidia kuwatofautisha. Poko anatembea kwa miguu miwili. Aliokolewa kutoka nchini Burundi alikofungiwa kwenye kizuizi kwa muda wa miaka tisa. Nafasi ilikuwa finyu mno na haikumpa nafasi ya kutembea kama wenzake. So when he came here he could not walk like uh, like a chimp. He could not walk on four. He used to walk on two. Very much up like like a human being. Alijifunza mwendo wa sokwe alipofikishwa katika hifadhi hii. Uh, like we've got idea who always wants attention from people and whenever you are close and then he can see food he always keep on asking. Kwa upande wake chita atakutemea mate iwapo hutampa macho unapofika hapa. She keep on spitting until you do what you want. Kama wanadamu soko pia huwa na kisasi. Max mwenye umri wa miaka 31 anaokuta jiwe kisha anakimbia tuliko na kulirusha. Anakumbuka alivyokamatwa na kufungiwa na wacheza sinema kutoka Ufaransa. Waliojaribu kumfunza sarakasi. Ndio maana anapoona kamera zetu alijaribu kutofukuza. Inapofika wakati wa chamcha ni wakati wa furaha kwa sokwe hawa. Mmoja baada ya mwingine walinzi wao wanawaita kwa jina na kuwapa matunda. Kila mmoja ana kiwango chake cha matunda. And what we do we try to give them varieties of fruits and also we give them sweet potatoes and in the morning and evenings they normally get a piece of ugari. Chita. Baadaye kila mmoja anajibanza katika eneo lake na kuchangamkia matunda hayo. Ali ndio sokwe mwerevu zaidi miongoni mwa wote 38 walioko hapa. Anasemekana kujua hata kujitoa katika ua huu wa umeme. You normally get a very long piece of wood and then lean on the fence and get another shorter stick and careful and intelligent when she start coiling the fence she coil the wire so when she does it she make sure that the live and the earth get into contact so we get a short circuit and she also open up and the others get a space where they can jump out na sasa ameziuliwa katika eneo hili speciali lenye ulinzi mkali pamoja na judi judi naye ana ulemavu she, she came here when she had polio and so she's paralyzed she normally limps when she's walking and Judy she's about she's almost 33 years kama wanadamu soko pia huota vipara huruhara ndiye mmoja wao huko akiona umri wa miaka 28 nywele zake zinapungua some of them they may start losing their eyesight also they start glowing gray hair siku inapoisha wanaingia katika jumba hili ambapo kila mmoja ana chumba chake wanasubiri chajio kabla ya kulala ndio maana ufahamu wa sokwe umekaribia mwanadamu kushinda ulivyokaribia nyani Hassan Mugambi Citizen TV